Nicole Scherzinger and this is the truth Nicole Scherzinger, June 29, 1978, is an American singer, songwriter and television personality. She began her career with performances and plays throughout her adolescence before pursuing a musical career with American rock band Days of the New. She later found modest success in 2001 upon winning a place in Eden's Crush, a girl group created through the WB's pop stars. Scherzinger achieved mainstream recognition when cast as the lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls and released the album's PCD, 2005, and Doll Domination, 2008, becoming one of the world's best-selling girl groups of all time. Scherzinger's prominent role was a point of contention within the group and factor in its eventual dissolution in 2009. Her solo career has included two studio albums Killer Love, 2011, and Big Fat Lie, 2014 to moderate success, the former includes the number one single Don't Hold Your Breath. Scherzinger subsequently ventured into television winning Dancing with the Stars, 2010, and serving as a judge on multiple television talent shows like The Sing Off, 2009 to 2010, Australia's Got Talent, 2019, and most notably The X Factor UK, 2012 to 2017, for four series. She has served as a panelist on The Masked Singer since the competition's 2019 debut and has reunited with the Pussycat Dolls when? For an upcoming tour. As an actress, Scherzinger made her West End debut in a 2014 revival of the musical Cats, for which she received a nomination for a Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role in a Musical and starred in the television film, Dirty Dancing, 2017. Throughout her career, Scherzinger has sold over 16 million records as an artist, and more than 54 million records with the Pussycat Dolls. Her other ventures include clothing lines, a fragrance and service as an ambassador for the Special Olympics and supporter of UNICEF UK. Early life Scherzinger was born Nicole Prieskovia Ilikul in Nivali India on June 29, 1978, in Honolulu, Hawaii, to Alfonso Valindi of Filipino descent and Rosemary Ilikulini Frederick of native Hawaiian and Ukrainian descent. Her mother considered abortion, as Scherzinger was conceived when she was 17 years old. After her father left the family at the age of two, Rosemary went on to marry German-American Gary Scherzinger, to adopted Nicole, and whose surname she eventually took. She has a younger sister, Keila. At age six, they moved to Louisville, Kentucky, where her mother was a clerk, and her stepfather was a welder. Scherzinger describes her upbringing as difficult as she grew up without much money and supported her parents by being a waitress, taking local modeling jobs, and being part of an entertainment troupe of the local amusement park, Kentucky Kingdom. With her grandfather a priest, Scherzinger was raised as Roman Catholic and considered herself conservative with really strong religious beliefs and would go to church twice a week in order to make her mother proud. At the age of 14, she enrolled in the Actors' Theatre of Louisville, where she was cast in her first professional play, La Bette. She graduated in 1996 from the Youth Performing Arts School BIS, at DuPont Manuel High School, where she participated in many plays, including Alice in Wonderland, in which she portrayed Alice. Scherzinger was surprised she got the part as she was up against a girl with blue eyes and blonde hair. In 2007, she was inducted to DuPont Manuel Alumni's Hall of Fame as one of the youngest inductees. Since 2013, Scherzinger has endowed his with a yearly $2,000, namesake scholarship. After earning a scholarship, she attended Wright State University and majored in theater arts with a dance minor. During this period, Scherzinger garnered the lead roles in regional productions of the musicals Chicago, Guys and Dolls, and Showboat. In her final year of college, Scherzinger was hired by Days of the New Band leader Travis Meeks to contribute vocals on their self-titled second studio album. Meeks sought out a singer who could deliver some more world, operatic textures and sounds. The album's supporting tour followed, which led Scherzinger to drop out of college. Towards the tour's conclusion, Meeks stated that the two grew apart creatively, claiming she didn't seem to understand music very well but noted she is an amazing entertainer. In 2018, Scherzinger received the 2017 Alumna of the Year Award from the Wright State Alumni Association. Career 2001-2002, Eden's Crush and 2001, Scherzinger's mother, saw a commercial for the WB's television show Pop Stars USA, a reality series with the aim to chronicle the group's formation until the recording of their debut album, Warner Brothers Zimper and London Sire Records signed the group to a recording contract before the band was named and had finalized its membership.
due to the hours of network television exposure the group would receive. Initially reluctant to audition, Scherzinger later opted otherwise as she saw it as an opportunity to travel to Los Angeles. For her audition she sang Whitney Houston's version of Dolly Parton's song I Will Always Love You and alongside Anna Maria Lombo, male Miss Ajan, Ivet Sosa, and Rosanna Tavares, established the girl group Eden's Crush. Their debut single, Get Over Yourself, was released in March 2001 and debuted at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 and became the first female act to debut at number 1 on the Hot 100 singles sales chart. Their debut studio album, Pop Stars, 2001, debuted at number 6 on the Billboard 200 chart. They went on to tour with NSYNC and Jessica Simpson, but, by the end of the year, their label went bankrupt and the group disbanded. During this time, Will.I.Dam, frontman of the Black Eyed Peas, approached Scherzinger to become a member of the group, but her then-boyfriend, Nick Hexum declined. Following the band's dissolution, Scherzinger took a detour in acting and guest starred in television shows such as My Wife and Kids, 2002, and had a cameo in the independent comedy, Chasing Poppy, 2003. 2003-2009, The Pussycat Dolls main article, The Pussycat Dolls, The Pussycat Dolls performing on tour in 2006 in August 2003 opting for a solo recording contract, Scherzinger traveled to Arista Records office in New York with a demo CD of her own written material under her Hawaiian family name Nicole Key. Her performance was interrupted by a city-wide blackout, and she was forced to leave. Meanwhile, Robin Ann, the creator of the burlesque troupe, the Pussycat Dolls, struck a joint venture with Interscope Records and along with record producers Jimmy Iovini and Ron Fair, launched an open audition for a separate recording group. After Will.I.Am recommended Scherzinger to Iovini, and in hopes to obtain a solo deal, she successfully auditioned in December 2003 along with Melody Thornton joining Carmen Bacher, Ashley Roberts, Jessica Sutta and Kimberly Wyatt. As the lead singer, Scherzinger assumed the majority of the vocals and is the only member of the group to have songwriting credits on their debut album PCD, which was released in September 2005. The album was preceded by Don't Cha which became their international breakthrough, peaking at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100. The album spawned other number 1 hits, Stick With To and Buttons, the latter of which was nominated for Best Pop Performance by a duo or group with vocals at the 49th Annual Grammy Awards in February 2006. Scherzinger signed a global publishing agreement with Universal Music Publishing Group, which would cover her future songwriting. Her work as lead singer furthered Scherzinger's popularity as she continued to work on her own music. Scherzinger's first solo recording was a feature on Avon's Lie About Us that was released in July 2006 and later collaborated with Diddy on Come To Me, which became Scherzinger's first solo top 10 hit on the US Billboard Hot 100. In March 2007, Scherzinger announced that her debut studio album would be titled Her Name Is Nicole and was initially scheduled for a release in late summer. Four singles were released from the project, Whatever You Like featuring T.I., Baby Love featuring Will.I.Am, Supervlin, and Puekengani however, all failed to make any significant impact on the Billboard charts, although Baby Love was a moderate success in international territories. After a number of pushbacks, Scherzinger decided not to release any further singles from the album and at her request, her name is Nicole was eventually shelved and shifted back her focus on the doll's second album. The Pussycat Dolls performed for more than 2,000 US and Coalition service members during a live concert March 10, 2008 at a U.S. Army camp in the Persian Gulf region, 2008. The Pussycat Doll's second and final album, Doll Domination was released in the United States on September 23, 2008 and peaked at number 4 on the Billboard 200. The album included singles When I Grow Up and I Hate This Part, which peaked at number 9 and 11 on the Billboard Hot 100, respectively. Both songs were originally recorded for Scherzinger's solo effort. The following year, the group embarked the Worldwide Doll Domination Tour, which began on January 18, 2009. While on tour, Scherzinger was asked to rewrite the pop version of Jai Ho from the film Slumdog Millionaire, 2008. The song was entitled Jai Ho. You Are My Destiny, crediting A.R. Rahman and the Pussycat Dolls while Scherzinger was credited as a featured artist causing dissatisfaction within the group. The song reached number one in 17 countries, in the US. It peaked at number 15 on the Billboard Hot 100, after charging 85 places consequently making the largest weekly leap from number 100. On April 5, 2009, 
Scherzinger performed America the Beautiful at WrestleMania 25, at the Reliance Stadium in Houston, Texas. After the tour concluded in August 2009, the group announced a hiatus to further pursue solo careers. In December 2009, Scherzinger was announced as the third judge joining Ben Folds and Boys Two Men band member Sean Stockman on the first season of The Sing Off. She returned for the second season before being replaced by Sarah Barrels. 2010-2013, The X Factor and Killer Love In May 2010, Scherzinger and her dance partner Derek Huff won the tenth season of Dancing with the Stars. In July 2010, Scherzinger served as a guest judge on The British X Factor, where she helped form One Direction. Her stint was well received by viewers and producers. The following month, she portrayed Maureen in Neil Patrick Harris' Hollywood Bowl production of the rock musical Rent. Her performance in the musical received praise from critics. Charles McNulty of the Los Angeles Times wrote, Scherzinger's powerhouse voice was meant for venues like the Bowl. In October 2010, Scherzinger released Poison as the lead single from the album, which peaked at number three on the UK singles chart, and announced her departure from the Pussycat Dolls to focus on her solo career. Scherzinger arriving at the X Factor auditions in Newark, New Jersey Her debut album, Killer Love, was released on March 21, 2011 in the United Kingdom. 54, on the UK Albums Chart the album debuted and peaked at number 8 and by November it sold over 140,000 copies. The album's second single, Don't Hold Your Breath became Scherzinger's first number one single as a solo artist in the UK Singles Chart and its third single Right There reached number 3. Right There was remixed to feature 50 Cent and peaked at number 39, remaining her highest charting single on the Billboard Hot 100 as a lead artist. It was released as the lead single for the US version of Killer Love, however after a number of delays, the release was never materialized. Initially hired to co-host with Steve Jones the first season of The American Next Factor, Scherzinger's eventual replacement of Cheryl Cole amidst the audition stages as a judge caused controversy. She later received backlash and death threats after sending the result to deadlock in the quarterfinal, which resulted in Rachel Crow's elimination. She mentored the over 30s, her final act. Josh Krajcik, was named the runner-up of the season. In December 2011, as part of the 25th anniversary of The Phantom of the Opera, Scherzinger performed the song of the same name at the Royal Variety Performance. Meanwhile, Killer Love was re-released with four additional songs, including the fifth and final single, Try With Me. In February 2012, she embarked on her first headlining tour in the United Kingdom, and later briefly appeared in Barry Sonnenfeld's Men in Black 3. In June 2012, she was confirmed as a judge for the ninth series of The British X Factor for a reported salary of $1.17 million. Scherzinger mentored the boys' category, both of her ex, James Arthur and Jamine Douglas, reached the final, with Arthur winning the series. Scherzinger sang Don't Cry For Me Argentina at the Andrew Lloyd Webber, 40 Musical Years Tribute Show. In March 2013, Scherzinger released Boomerang which debuted and peaked at number 6 on the UK singles chart. After its lackluster success, the associated album was scrapped. Scherzinger returned as judge on The X Factor for its 10th series for a reported salary of $2.3 million. 2014-2018, Big Fat Lie and Television Ventures, Scherzinger in Moscow, Russia at a sound gig, 2018 in February 2014. Scherzinger announced that she signed a record deal with Sony Music Entertainment and RCA Records for a reported $4.5 million. Scherzinger's second studio album, Big Fat Lie was released in October 2014. It experienced lackluster sales on the UK album's chart, which led to her eventual departure from the label the following year. The album was preceded by the singles Your Love, Run and On The Rocks. Your Love peaked at number 6 on the UK singles chart and was a moderate success on other international markets. In December, Scherzinger made her West End debut starring as Grisabella in the 2014 revival of the musical Cats at the London Palladium where she played the role for a 12-week run until February 8, 2015. Her performance received rave reviews from critics particularly praising her rendition of the song Standard Memory and garnered a Laurence Olivier Award nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role in a Musical. She was set to reprise Grisabella in the Broadway revival of Cats but a week before rehearsals she quit after producers refused to give her top billing. On June 30, 2015, 
Scherzinger was crowned as the winner of the variety show I Can Do That where six celebrities compete with each other by performing skills that they never knew they had. In July she performed the American National Anthem at the A Capital Fourth Concert in Washington, D.C. and during the opening of the 2015 Special Olympics World Summer Games. Best Time Ever with Neil Patrick Harris a live variety show premiered on September 15, 2015 on NBC with Scherzinger as co-host, the show was cancelled after one season due to low ratings. The following month, the music panel show hosted by Ricky Wilson, Bring the Noise premiered on Skywin with Scherzinger and Tony Tempa joining him as team captains. After a three-year break from the X Factor UK, Scherzinger returned as a judge for the 13th and 14th series, replacing Rita Ora. She voiced Cena in the animated feature Mona, which was released in November 2016 through Walt Disney Pictures. Scherzinger starred as Penny in ABC's television film Dirty Dancing, a remake of the 1987 film of the same name. It premiered on May 24, 2017. Although the movie received negative reviews from critics, Scherzinger's performance received praise. In September 2017, she launched her debut fragrance, chosen by Nicole Scherzinger. In 2018, Scherzinger had a voice cameo in Ralph Breaks the Internet. Personal life Scherzinger considers herself shy and keeps her personal life to herself and declines to answer questions in interviews that pertain to her relationships. When asked, Scherzinger states, My music is the only place I'm open about it. Scherzinger was engaged to Nick Hexham, lead singer of 311, whom she dated from 2000 to 2004. Scherzinger commenced a high-profile relationship with Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton, after meeting at the 2007 MTV Europe Music Awards in Munich. Their on-and-off relationship of seven years was a tabloid fixture in the British press. They separated for the final time in February 2015. In 2016, she was involved in a romantic relationship with Bulgarian tennis player Grigor Dimitrov that ended in early 2019. It was announced in January 2020 that Scherzinger had begun a relationship with former Scottish rugby player Tom Evans. In late 2012, Scherzinger spoke of her experiences with bulimia at the height of the popularity of the Pussycat Dolls. She struggled with body dysmorphia before an early photoshoot with the group triggered her bulimic behavior, which lasted nearly a decade. She eventually overcame the disorder through therapists and life coaches. Scherzinger endorsed Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign, she appeared in the music video for Old.I.M song, Yes We Can, 2008, which was inspired by Obama's speech after the 2008 New Hampshire primary. She considers herself as anti-abortion, and avoids identifying herself a feminist arguing, I'm just for women. I'm also for the human race in general. She is a supporter of LGBTQ rights and in 2017, through Billboard, Scherzinger published a love letter to the LGBTQ community in which she praised the community for standing strong against adversity and, for being, a community that unites for change. Philanthropy following the 2010 Haiti earthquake, along with various other artists, she was featured on the charity single We Are the World 25 for Haiti, and participated in George Clooney's and Wycliffe Jean's Hope for Haiti Now, a global benefit for earthquake relief telethon that benefited people affected by the tragedy. In October 2010, she portrayed Trixie at the 35th anniversary concert of the Rocky Horror Picture Show that raised money for the Painted Turtle, a hole-in-the-wall foundation camp for kids with serious medical conditions. Inspired by her aunt who has Down syndrome, she became a global ambassador for the Special Olympics and recorded Oh Holy Night for a Very Special Christmas, 2013, with all proceeds benefiting the organization. Since 2014 Scherzinger is a UNICEF UK supporter and has traveled to Guyana, Manila, Philippines, and Kenya, where she visited the organization's supported centers benefiting children in poverty. She later performed Brave with the SU2C Choir for Stand Up to Cancer to raise money for cancer research on October 17, 2014. Scherzinger along with numerous other artists were featured on the single Love Song to the Earth, which was released in September 2015 ahead of the 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference, as part of the global campaign to raise awareness on climate change. In September 2016, Scherzinger along with numerous other artists were featured on the remake of the Black Eyed Peas song Where Is The Love? Where all proceeds went towards Will.I.M's non-profit foundation, I.M.Angel Foundation. In August 2019, 
she took part in the protests against the building of the 30-meter telescope on Mauna Kea, a place considered a holy spiritual site for native Hawaiians. Other ventures fashion in April 2010, Scherzinger teamed up with clothing store C&A to launch her own collection of lingerie, shoes, handbags and jewelry in Brazilian stores. A collaboration with online fashion retailer Misguided was released in March 2014, where she designed a 30-piece range. Their collaboration helped the retailer increase profit by 70%. Endorsements in cooperation with Unilever, Scherzinger recorded Duran Duran's Rio, 1982. In December 2011, Scherzinger began endorsing the Impress Nails manicure line and has her own signature series. From 2012 to 2014, Scherzinger was the ambassador for herbal essences. In March 2013, she was announced as an ambassador for British Airways promoting first-class routes to Moscow. In April 2013, it was announced that Scherzinger will be the face of Muller Corner, a range of luxury yogurts in front TV and print campaigns. In September 2014, Scherzinger joined Proactive Plus as the new celebrity ambassador for the skincare company. On November 29, 2016 Scherzinger was announced as the new face of Perfectl, a vitamin product she featured in a television commercial for Vitabiotics' new Perfectl advertising campaign in March 2017.